<laughs> You're absolutely correct. Crazy girl, we gotta rock this mountain up. We gotta shake this mountain up. Let's do this. Uh-oh, crazy girl's going crazy right now. Uh-oh, crazy girl had her calf feed. The next ninja subscriber goes to... Oh, this one has been... Hey everyone, and how's it going? It is Stealth, and we are back with another episode of the Amplified Adventures. I hope you guys are having a wonderful... Wait, let me get rid of this map. I can't see your beautiful faces right now. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, fantastic day. As always, I can't wait to get this journey on the way. We got the craziest of them all. The crazy girl, Queen of Creepers. That is your new title, Queen of the Creepers. <laughs> Crazy girl, ain't nobody else here today. There's no Nitro, there's no Dom, so we gotta work ten times harder. Um, so yes, guys, we have been grinding lately. We've worked on the castle, which is like 35% done. I would say around 30 to 35% done. We also got a level 30 enchantment room now, um, so I'm very happy about that. And of course, we got the squad Godzilla and Raven. But guys, first and foremost, if you are a subscriber, go ahead and hashtag NinjaSub down below in the comment section. I already know the notification squad is killing it, so I don't really have to worry about that. You guys are always crushing it, so thankful to have the squad here today. Um, so yeah, crazy girl, we're gonna continue working on the castle. I'm gonna build a really quick bridge over here, because I'm actually getting tired of having to sort of parkour up here every single episode. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't need all of that. I'm just gonna, let's see, get, get some wood over here, grab some of this lovely wood, like so. And we're just gonna build a tiny bridge. It's not really a bridge, I guess. It's the continuation of the trail, so... Just gonna work on this really quick, and it should only take a couple of minutes, hopefully. I'm not like a MLG builder like Crazy Girl, so we'll see how long this takes. But um, yeah, this is just something that I've sort of neglected ever since we finished the bridge, like, I don't know, 40 episodes ago. So <laughs> literally, I've been slacky, guys. Don't don't kill me. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Uh, but no, seriously, uh, this is just something I've been meaning to finish, and I just haven't really had the time. So let me go ahead... And add some wood right here, too. Now, I might add, like, a little fence there. We don't re really need to go all the way. Oops, I already messed up. And like that. And get my axe. Get rid of that, like so. And we might add, like, a little fence right there, because we don't need this whole side. And we're going to go up like that. So let me go ahead. Do I have enough wood to make some staircases? I think I do. So after this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go look for some iron. Um, because we did uh, start making some area or space inside of the castle for our first beacon. So really excited for this. I think you guys know that in order to get our first beacon, we have to first defeat the Wither Boss. That's right. Our first boss battle will actually be the Wither Boss, which arguably is one of the strongest bosses. I think the Wither Boss is high up there. I don't know if it's more difficult. I think it's more of a, an opinion. I think it's subjective, right? Everybody thinks that the, the Ender Dragon is probably a tad bit more difficult than the Wither Boss just because you, there's a lot more steps to get to the, uh, get to the Ender Dragon. Um, so with that said, uh, we're probably gonna save the Ender Dragon for the final boss. Okay, you guys are gonna have to move. I love you so much, but you're just sort of in the way right now. Can you just, can you just come over here, please? And, uh, this actually reminded me. We have Raven and God- Okay, Godzilla. Alright, Godzilla, I see you, bro. We have Raven and Godzilla. Those are my only pets. But I would like to actually get our first ever- cat now uh, we haven't been able to find a jungle biome yet uh, but that is something i really want especially because all these creepers out here and you guys know that we build with the queen of creepers so <laughs> having having a cat would just be so helpful or an ocelot i know some people oops you know what we're just gonna go this way i know some people like to call them ocelots cats whatever the whatever you want to call them i think they're more of a cat than anything but uh, they're just really nice to have they're great to have actually so I think uh, eventually we're gonna have to find a jungle biome. Hopefully we can get lucky there. I don't, I don't even know where there is a jungle biome in this world, uh, but I know there is one for sure. So hopefully we can get lucky there and find a lovely jungle biome so we can tame our first ever cat. That would just be amazing. But you guys already know that the mushroom cows are my favorite animals besides wolves. Of, of course, yeah. Yeah, I, I love you too. 
Like, like I said, they're very sensitive today, so I have to always say that. <laughs> I love you guys to death, but uh, mushroom cows are just so cool. Um, so hopefully we can get some mushroom cows going on soon as well. Um, okay, so how exactly are we going to do this? I was thinking of having maybe like a staircase go down this way. I think we're going to have to go down. We're going to have to use a lot of slabs. I've come to the realization that I think we're going to have to use a lot of slabs here. So can we do something like this? And maybe like a, well, I don't know, like a three-way system going on. Like I said, I didn't want to spend too much time on this. So it might be something that I don't finish today. But at least you guys can see exactly what I'm trying to do here, which... At this point, I'm not even sure what I'm trying to do. Um, so let's go up, and we're going to add some staircases. I think it's always easier to start from the top and work your way down. So that was probably my first mistake right there. I probably should have worked from the top and all the way down. And then that way, it's um, a lot easier. So here we go. And then we're going to go down this way, and then we can go up this way, like so. You know what? I sort of like that i like using slabs i'm starting to become a huge advocate for slabs like slabs are so incredible i love slabs and we sort of need another slab right there um so wow this is gonna be the problem right here like what is this this looks horrible <laughs> this looks absolutely horrible right there so we might have to take a break guys i think we're just gonna fix this later um but i do need let's see i need more wood i need more staircases and we're gonna go look for some iron in fact i'm not even sure how much iron we have we're gonna need like at least 200 or three actually i think even more more iron than that because we're making the largest beacon ever so we might be close to a couple thousand iron ingots that we'll need for that beacon so we're going to be doing some grinding for quite some time in order to get enough iron and uh, i think crazy girl's actually almost done with the first floor so we'll probably be working on the second floor soon you know what I'm going to do really quick? I'm just going to go ahead and destroy this. I think I should only focus on one thing at a time. Because whenever I multitask, I end up making mistakes. So I'm just going to learn from my mistakes, period. And we're just going to focus on one section at a time. And then we can add on to it. I think that's the easiest way to approach this. Because whenever you like try to add too much, or if you're trying to do too much at once, it ends up just not working at all so <laughs> at least for me i don't know about you guys but if i try to do too much at once it just it, it there's not a happy ending right we like happy endings and there's usually not a happy ending involved in that so um i think just working uh, on one section at a time is the best method so um and then we can add slabs right here if we want to like that you know what that looks really good i like that and we can actually just leave this right here right we can just leave you know what? I think I just fixed the issue. I think we just actually just fixed the issue. So this is really good. And we can add... I don't think we're going to add anything right there. We could technically just leave that as it is. Um, for those people that just... Uh, I don't know. We could just leave that like that. I think that's not really a big deal. And I'm going to replace this really quick. It's starting to get dark. So uh, Crazy Girl, if you want to sleep, which is probably a good idea... Um, then I will, uh, probably just sleep up, uh, up in this tower right here. I think you already have a bed down there, so probably not too concerned about that. Um, so really, okay, so this is a little dangerous. <laughs> this is a, this is a tad bit dangerous, but it is a bridge. So hopefully nobody gets, uh, you know, it, I don't think, you, you can't really die from this height anyways. Let me go ahead. Do we have any torches? We have two torches. This is pretty dark over here. All right, Crazy Girl has already beat me to it, so let me go upstairs, and we're going to sleep really quick, and then we're going to go find a nice little cave to get plenty of iron, because like I said, we got a lot of grinding to do, and we just got to make sure that we have enough supplies for our first beacon, which I think when we do fight the Wither Boss, we're going to fight the Wither Boss four times, so we're going to kill the Wither Boss, fight him again, Kill the Wither Boss, so we're gonna need, let's see, that'll be 3, 6, 9, 12 Wither Skeleton Skulls that we're gonna need. 12 Wither Skeleton Skulls, because we're gonna have four beacons in the center of the castle, right? We're gonna have four beacons in the center of the castle, and then we're gonna have, let's see, after we're done with the castle, we're gonna have a beacon on that tower, a beacon on that tower, and another beacon on that tower as well. So that's 3, 6, 9, so we'll have 12, and then we'll have 15... And then 18 and then 21. So we're gonna need 21 wither skeleton skulls. Essentially, that's how much we're gonna need. So if you consider that, right, that means we're gonna need looting for sure. We're definitely going to need looting, or at least someone's gonna need looting on their sword. 
Um, so that's gonna be something that we're gonna focus later uh, once we get more enchantments going. But at least we have a level 30 enchantment room, which is a huge accomplishment. So very happy about that. And I'm gonna bring the wolves today. That's why I have all of this rotten flesh. Uh, Cause they like to, <laughs> they just like to jump. I wish, I wish they didn't take any falling damage, honestly. I wish you guys didn't take any falling damage. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can find an area where we can start mining and finding some good stuff. Uh, hopefully we can even find diamonds, but I, you know, like a, my, my main focus for now, my main focus is just to find as much iron as possible. I do want diamonds, of course, cause not everybody has diamonds yet. In fact, I think we only have Let's see, we have two diamonds upstairs. I think Dom has some diamonds as well. I think he has like maybe 10 diamonds on him. Or Nitro, one or the other. Do we have any diamonds in here? I think we have diamonds. Oh, we got 20 diamonds. Whoop, never mind. Hold up. Okay, so we got 20 diamonds in there. So that means 22 diamonds. And then we got a full set of diamond armor in there. So yeah, by the end of hopefully the next 10 episodes, everybody has a full set of diamond armor. Um, so that is my main objective, but, uh, for now, I am gonna go look for some iron, so I will be back, crazy girl, wish me luck, um, uh, what is over here? If we could start mining close by, that'd be pretty cool. What is this area? Should I just mine over here and see if I can find a nice little cave system? Because it's not too far away, so the good thing is if I end up tragically dying for whatever reason, hello, crazy girl. Keep your distance today, because if you bring creepers over, it's over for me. Uh, uh, but if there is, a, for some odd reason, for some tragic, you know, reason that I die, at least I'm close enough that I can get my stuff back. And I think that's very important, especially if you're trying to mine for a long period of time, is being close to where you're mining at, or at least having a bed close by to where you're mining. So, honestly, just having a, just having a bed with me is probably the best idea, so... Um, let's go ahead and just start mining right here and see if we can find like a cave system or something like that And if we can get I don't know even a stack of iron that'd be pretty cool But uh, it looks like we're actually uh, almost at I don't know. Let's see. We're at where's my map at now that I think about it. Where did my map go? Oh, here we go because we're gonna have to get to maybe y 40 y 30 that's the good layers That's like the best layers for uh, iron technically you can find iron on any layer, but I personally, I personally, excuse me, like to go to around Y30-ish, Y40-ish, and then that way you can get iron, gold, and lapis. You can get a lot of cool stuff at that layer, not just iron, and then that way you're just sort of getting a lot of stuff besides this one. Oh, hello. We got some gravel right there. Um, so that's my objective, but uh, I, I try and just mine in different areas because usually I have better luck and finding new stuff or finding more stuff if I mine in different areas than just strip mining in the same place. If I strip mine in the same place, it typically just, it drags on for a long time. It just doesn't go too well and it takes forever as well to find good stuff. Um, so hopefully we can run, oh, is that iron right there? Perfect, we already found some iron. So let's go ahead and see how much we can get. And we got a long ways to go. I'll probably end up needing at least, like I said, over a thousand iron ingots. Um, so this is going to be a project that we're going to be working on for quite some time. But I figured the earlier, the better, right? So when it comes time to uh, work on different projects, um, work on, on expanding the Ninja Empire, we don't have to worry about the beacons. And uh, the beacons is probably the longest thing that we're, or the largest project that we'll work on besides the village. Once we start working on the village, that's an entirely different beast. But at least having the beacons done is going to be a huge victory because uh, just having beacons in general makes it a lot, uh, 10 times safer uh, for any type of like city, any type of like, uh, I don't know, any type of village area, especially if you have a lot of villagers and, st and such, um, it, it's just a lot more beneficial. But we are at Y54 right now, and we haven't really run into anything good. And I definitely, oh, there goes my pickaxe. I definitely want to find a cave system. So maybe what I need to do is just focus on looking for caves in the next episode. But we're also probably going to go back to um, the nether soon. Because we still need to find the nether fortress. And that is something that we're also going to have to prioritize, especially as we are... Um, getting more iron and collecting more iron for the beacon 
We also need to start working on collecting Wither Skeleton Skulls as well simultaneously. Um, so that's going to be a huge issue. Just considering we don't have a sword with looting three, it's going to be a huge grind. So maybe that's something I'll start working on soon is getting a sword with looting three on it or looting. Does it go up to looting three? I think it goes up to looting three. So that's going to be a very large project. Um, so hopefully that's something we can start working on in the next couple of episodes. Um, so first though, we have to find the um, nether fortress. So, uh, hello crazy girl. Looks like things are going well with you. Wow, we got a ton of stone. I'm glad a lot of this is finished cooking. I'm not sure how much more stone you're gonna need. Um, so for now, oh, we got iron too. Yes, 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 yes for iron. So, um, I'll put some stone in there. And uh, I'm not going to cook any more stone for now. If you need more, you can just put it in the furnace. But I figured you probably need a lot of cobblestone as well. So I'll leave plenty of cobblestone and stone in there for you. Um, and then you can uh, just pick and choose what you need. And uh, if you need more stuff, I'll get it for you. So uh, for now, though, we're going to go all the way up to the Ninja Mountain. Because this is my favorite part of each and every episode is uh, going up to this mountain and adding a new legendary ninja boss. That's right, you're a boss if you're added to this uh, mountain over here. This is for all of my supporters, all of the people that are always here, liking the video, uh, commenting, uh, especially if you're a part of the notification squad. You guys already know that you're my favorites because <laughs> you guys are always here in the first minute just being very positive and that is just the ultimate support right there people that are extremely positive and just very kind um this is for you guys this is dedicated to you so we're gonna have to shake this mountain up as always we gotta rock this mountain up uh for the next legendary ninja subscriber uh, make sure i have a sign over here i got one sign and you guys are like stealth you need to make a chest full of signs and i'm like you know what you're absolutely <laughs> You're absolutely correct. Crazy girl, we gotta rock this mountain up. We gotta shake this mountain up. Let's do this. Uh-oh, crazy girl's going crazy right now. Uh-oh, crazy girl had her caffeine. The next ninja subscriber goes to... Oh, this one has been really active lately. This user in general has been extremely active, and that is Xbox Player. Welcome to the ninja squad, Xbox Player. You're all over the place lately. I can't even keep up with you. You're so active. Uh, so welcome aboard. Very happy to have you here, man. And uh, as always, I can't wait to add more legendary ninjas in the upcoming episodes. So make sure you guys leave a like. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on notifications. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care, guys. Peace. Bye.